Painting Femme L.A. Montre by Picasso fetches $139.4 million at auction. Picasso's Golden Muse artwork brought $139.4 million at auction. The 1932 piece Femme à la Montre by the Spanish artist features his muse and partner, Marie-Therese Walter. In 1927, when she was 17-year-old and he was 45-year-old, the painter finally made eye contact with Walter and said, I am Picasso. You and I are going to do great things together. In 1932, Picasso, who was then married to Olga Koklova, a Russian-Ukrainian ballerina, produced a series of pieces announcing Walter's presence in his life. The sculpture, which fetched $139.4 million at Sotheby's in New York on Wednesday, is the second most expensive Picasso piece ever to be sold at auction. His 1955 oil work Les Femmes d'Alger $179.4 million at auction in 2015. Emily Fisher Landau, an art patron and collector, owns the oil on canvas painting Femme à la Montre, one of many works in her collection estimated to be valued at well over $400 million. Ms. Fisher Landau started collecting in 1968 when she purchased the Picasso artwork. She got into the hobby after getting an insurance claim for a jewelry theft at her house. It has never been put up for auction before. Among the other artists included in the Emily Fisher Landau collection, an era defined are American painter and sculptor Jasper Johns, American painter and printer Robert Rauschenberg, Dutch-American artist Willem de Kooning, and abstract painter Mark Rothko. Works by Andy Warhol and Edward Russia, who were both associated with the pop art movement, are also included. Picasso completed Femme à la Montre at the age of 50, having already achieved considerable notoriety. Whether he was an artist of the past rather than the future, was the question that Tate Modern claims the picture was meant to mute.